little friend. We're about to start in kids, but before we do, let's wiggle our fingers. Now wiggle your nose. Now move your head. And can you touch your toes? Well done. I'm so excited to get started. Let's listen to what we can learn about Jesus today. Can you play a game with me? Different pictures are going to flash quickly on your screen. Look out for it and then call out which one it is. First, let me show you. Are you ready? Shout out when you see the picture and you know where, whether it's the little girl, the daddy or Jesus. Oh, that was great friends. Today's miracle, do you remember the word miracle? Is about Jesus, a daddy and a little girl. Let's read it together. Open up your Bible. Now when Jesus returned, a crowd welcomed him, for they were all expecting him. Then a man named Jairus, a ruler of the synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet, pleading with him to come to his house because his only daughter, a girl of about twelve, was dying. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue ruler. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother the, the teacher anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, Don't be afraid. Just believe and she will be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John and James, and the child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people, people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what happened. Jairus came to call Jesus to help his daughter. Say it with me, Jairus. It's a very different name, right? Jairus is an important man. He's used to a lot of people being able to help him. But he sees here that there is nothing and no one else can help him but Jesus. He fell on his knees before Jesus and begged Jesus, please come and help. Jesus wants to help and he is ready to go with Jairus, but on the way he also helps another woman. Meanwhile, news comes that the little girl is dead. It's horrible news, but Jesus' words are incredible. He says, don't be afraid. It's almost as if he is saying, breathe, don't worry, I'm here with you. Jesus can do miracles, but we don't always know what's it going to look like. Of course, Jesus can heal people and even make them alive again, but that doesn't always happen. What happens is that he comes to take our hand and help us through the worst, most difficult things. In Jairus' case, his daughter was healed. Can you imagine how relieved and happy everyone was? Wow! We are also invited to call on Jesus to come and help. Sometimes you call on him to come and help you with something that is difficult or sad for you. But you also call on Jesus to help someone else. The little girl could not ask Jesus for help herself. Her father came to help her fell at Jesus' feet and asked, please come and help Jesus. Is there someone you want to, to call Jesus to come and help today? You can do this by praying and asking Him. 
Miracles still happen, small and big. It's so nice to follow Jesus and see what wonderful things He is doing. Call on Him every day. He wants to and will help you. got joy like a fountain i've got joy like a fountain i've got joy like a fountain in my soul i've got joy like a fountain i've got joy like a fountain i've got joy like a fountain in my soul i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river i've got peace like a river in my soul i've got Peace like a river, I've got peace like a river, I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior in my soul. I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior, I've got love for my Savior in my soul. I've got joy like a Let's pray together. Thank you, Jesus, that you're always willing to help us. Thank you that you are always, always with us. Thank you. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, friends.